Uh, anyway, we will now head into the jungle and uh, see what we can find. What's up, y'all? Check this out. Picked up this uh, watch here. It is, let me zoom in while we talk about it, and I'll go over all the features. It's actually, <laughs> you see that? A 130th anniversary watch for Daisy. Now this is that air rifle company that makes the Red Rider and uh, a few other things. Back in 2016 they actually hit their 130th anniversary and you know released a few products. This watch is actually on sale right now. Let's check the features out. It is a stainless steel case. It's an, it's an alloy top here but the case itself is stainless steel. It is also engraved on the back. If I can, it's got a little bit of smudging on there, but those kind of look like scratches, but they're not. You can see they're moving around. Uh, stainless steel back it says Japan movement. You know, it it's water resistant. It has three atmospheres on here, so it's going to be good for rain, splashes, things like that. I guess technically it'd be what 30 meters, but I don't think so. Any any watch I ever see that's that low on the rating you wouldn't want to dive into a pool with it probably so pretty good there and you can see there's the year range now what I like also is it does have the Daisy uh, logo there engraved on the band clasp of course you would adjust this by taking link out if you needed to you can see there the band is stainless steel the bezel here it does move so you can click it around kind of use it as a uh, you'd use this this would be like a, a stopwatch type timer you'd line it up with your second hand which I just opened this up so I need to actually take the little plastic doohickey out and set it 9.53 so we're pretty close there we go <laughs> tick 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 it does have uh, an aluminous coating on the hands now let me go ahead and rotate this around because I want it to be top I want the top to be up at the top <laughs> one more click it's hard to see it in the camera I may yeah, I think that's lined up. So let's check out the luminosity. Let's see how well this thing, you know, closing low lighting setting. Let's see if my camera can pick it up. Of course, I need to get a little darker in here. Alexa, turn off lights. Okay. Not bad. Alexa, turn on lights. Okay. Turn my bench light back on. And I just unpackaged this, so it hadn't been sitting here on the bench too much. But that's kind of a cool little feature. And, I mean, what else can I tell you? What I like about it, I don't really wear this style watch that much. Because um, usually these bands will pull my hairs out because I'm like a gorilla arm. That's where all my hair is. But it's nice enough that you can wear it out and the logo is you know subdued enough it's not just in your face so I like that it's 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 tactfully done type of thing so you can I could see you wearing this uh, you know go out to a nice meal whatever throw this on <laughs> type of thing and it's a cool little watch if someone notices the daisy on there you might be able to spark up a conversation on did they have a you know, Red Rider, back in the day, do they get their kids one? Um, you know, all the new anniversary editions and stuff like that that I collect. These things are pretty collectible. But, <clears throat> now these little things like this, I don't know. I did get this on sale, so it was uh, $14 and I think 95 cents. Check the website to be sure. 
so I just went ahead and threw it in with the last order I did when I bought the 35th anniversary Christmas Dream Edition Red Rider. Boom.